There's starting to be quite a bit of hype around Fallout London, a DLC-sized mod for Fallout 4, and lots of people in the community are extremely excited about it. So I want to go ahead, guys, and talk about Fallout London, all the things that we know so far about this project and this mod, and... You know, I would love to have a real conversation with all of you guys in the comment section down below about it. So let's get into it. In an article written by Austin Wood of Games Radar, this is one of the most promising Fallout mods in recent memory. Fallout London is a massive fan-made Fallout 4 mod promising a DLC-sized adventure through post-apocalyptic Europe. So this obviously, guys, will give all of us that are, you know, Fallout fans, this will quench your thirst while we're waiting for the next installment of the Fallout, you know, Fallout title. And I think that Fallout London, this could be something that could give us hours upon hours of playtime and a lot of excitement. The trailer itself, if you haven't already seen it, definitely check it out. It looks pretty impressive. The Fallout London mod team describes the project as a continuation of the base game set in an entirely new environment with its own unique culture. That said, it might be easier to visualize this mod as an extension of Fallout 4 rather than a direct continuation. It's set in the year 2237, putting it roughly 50 years ahead of the events of Fallout 4 and smack in between Fallout and Fallout 2. So, over on the Fallout London Discord server, the mod team explained that the mod's map is about the size of the vanilla Fallout 4 Commonwealth, and in London's geography extends from Westminster to the edge of Bromley, which is a pretty sizable chunk of the city. Inside you'll find new factions, storylines, NPCs, weapons, creatures, and more. And uh, that's so exciting to me, guys, that, I mean, this is a full fan-made mod coming to Fallout 4. That just shows you how dedicated this community is to Fallout. When you've got people that are coming together to work on a DLC-sized adventure in Fallout 4, that just shows you the love a lot of people had for Fallout 4, without a doubt. So, vault is entirely an American company, thus it will have no presence in London, the mod's FAQ reads. We will have a version of the vault, but it will be entirely different from that of vault Tech, except that it is a shelter beneath the ground, so don't expect better living underground. In a similar vein, there will likely be a British counterpart of Vault Boy in terms of a popular mascot that will make frequent appearances. Certain robots, such as Mr. Handy's and Protectons, f had gone global by 2077 and thus will be included. So, at the end of the day, guys, um, Fallout London is such a bottom-up overhaul that you'll need a Fallout 4 save to play it, um, as the mod will make critical changes to the game, base game's mechanics as well as its content, the mod team says. For example, while the mod won't come with voice lines for your character, the team is looking to expand the game's dialogue system to bring it more in line with previous Fallout games. And lastly... The huge question people are asking is, when is this going to release? Well, Fallout London doesn't have a release date just yet, in large part because it's being made by a team of volunteers. Unsurprisingly, the mod is only planned for PC. So, it's interesting, guys. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I'm so excited about this. And, and, and this is what I love about gaming so much, is that we as fans have the ability to come together to create incredible things out of out of you know just gaming right i mean you never know what just a group of fans can maybe do for a franchise for example you know we've been talking on the youtube channel about dead space the potential return of of, of dead space and, and what that would look like and it was something that you know, we as a community had come together and tried to voice or echo Dead Space 4 into existence, and so you just never know what could happen. Well, this is something that's really even taking it a step further, wanting more Fallout content, but from fans for the fans, and that's a really cool concept, and so I think that this has a lot of promise, guys. Fallout London has a ton of promise. The reveal trailer, to me, was awesome. I'm super excited about this project, and I can't wait to share more as it comes out. So stay here with Zero TV for more Fallout London. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about Fallout London? Are you excited about it? Let me know. 
And like I said, for more Fallout London content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.